Hello everyone, how are you all? This is our second lecture under our angle bisector series. In this lecture, we will cover the in-center, divide the angle bisector into what ratio. Without taking any further time, let's begin with the lecture. Let's check the triangle ABC with sides as A, B and C and also with the three angle bisectors. These three angle bisectors are meeting at the point I that is the in-center for the triangle. If we compare this with the medians, in the medians the point of intersection of the three median is the point G that is the centroid and we have studied that the centroid has divided the median into the ratio of 2 is to 1. The same we have studied in the medians. And for this angle bisector, the point of intersection of the three angle bisector is the in center that is the point I. In this case, the in center divide the angle bisector that is EA is to ID into the ratio of the sum of two sides that is C plus B is to the third side that is A. The formula will be AI is to ID is equal to C plus B upon A. We are comparing it with the median centroid. Why? Because in case of median, the centroid has divided the median into the ratio of 2 is to 1. Here also the point I that is the in center will divide the angle bisector into some ratios. That ratio is the sum of two sides, okay, B plus C is to the third side that is A. Here one thing to be noted is that AD, the angle bisector that we have chosen is between the side B and C, okay. So we have taken the side as B plus C upon the third side that is the side A. Got the fundamental? If we take the median BE, then the formula will change that is BI is to IE will be equal to A plus C upon B. Similarly, in case of the angle bisector CF, the formula will be CI upon IF is equal to A plus B upon C. Okay, got it. This is the formula for the ratio of the in center dividing the angle bisector. Got it. Now we will see the proof of the property. Let's take the same figure. For the time being, let's remove the angle bisector BE and CF. We are having only the angle bisector AD and the point I as the in center. The side AB is C and AC is B. And just now we have studied the angle bisector theorem. That is in a triangle, the angle bisector of any angle will divide the opposite side in the ratio of the sides containing the angle. It means BD is to DC will be equal to the ratio of these two sides that is C is to B. Okay, the ratio of BD is to DC will be equal to C is to B. Further, this complete length BC is equal to A. Can we say BD is equal to A upon B plus C into C and DC is equal to A upon B plus C into B. We have used the fundamental of ratio and proportion. Okay, this complete length is A. So, BD will be equal to A upon B plus C into C. Similarly, DC is A upon B plus C into B. Now, let's take the angle bisector from point B. This will be the angle bisector. We are not extending the angle bisector to the side AC. We are only ending this angle bisector at point I. Let's take the triangle ABD with the angle bisector BI. Okay, let's take this triangle out of the figure. Here AB is C. Okay, that is given. We have assumed in the starting. And BD we have just calculated as AC upon B plus C. For this triangle, can we say AI upon ID is equal to AB upon BD? We can say so. Here BI is the angle bisector and the ratio of AI upon ID will be equal to these two sides that is AB and BD. Okay, the fundamental of angle bisector theorem we have applied. So we got AI upon ID is equal to C upon AC upon B plus C. On solving, we got AI upon ID is equal to C plus B upon A. Okay, that is the proof of our property. Got it? Okay, students. So, that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you like or dislike, please mention in the below comment section. And thank you very much for being with Creator Classes.
have a great day and best of luck bye for now